Hello, this is Reza from Radacad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use a distinct count inside a group by operation in Power Query. Let's see how it works. There are multiple places you can do distinct count in Power BI. You can do it in DAX with uh, some measures. You can use a visual in Power BI and click on the aggregation of a field and change it to be distinct count. Or you can do that in Power Query. Uh, usually you do it in Power Query if uh, there is no need for this to be a dynamic calculation and you don't really need that much details. You want an aggregated uh, view of the data, but you want a distinct count. Uh, now, uh, in Power Query, you can apply a group by operation on any field or on any of combinations of fields. You can right click and create a group result. Here, this is a sales table. I have multiple records per customer, as you can see here, uh, because each customer might come and purchase uh, multiple times. Uh, let's say I want a grouped result. I want one record per customer, but then I want uh, the count of uh, their orders. And sales order number itself can be repeated, as you see right over here, because we also have sales order line number. So what I need to do is to first group it by customer to have one record per customer key. But then I need distinct count of the sales order number, not just the normal count, because that that would be count of sales order line number probably. Uh, to do the group by, you can right click on a column and apply group by. It's a really simple transformation in Power BI. Uh, now, without doing any changes, I just show you how the group by works. Uh, the default operation for the aggregation is usually a count rows. The result of this is one record per customer. And uh, here I have count rows for each group. So for this customer, for example, we had two rows. This is count of rows for that, or one row or five row. Now, if I want to do this as a distinct count, I can click on this setting of the group rows again, and I can change it to count distinct rows. However, count distinct rows is not distinct count of a particular column. This is distinct count of all remaining columns, not the group by column itself, but all other columns, distinct count of those. It's like removing duplicates and then counting that, right? Across all columns, which is very likely you get the same result as the normal count, unless you really have duplicate rows, rows that has this, have the same value in every single column. Um, so because of that, this, uh, distinct count rows won't really give you a distinct, um, distinct count of a column. Now, to get the distinct count of a column after doing this or any other operations, you can come to this formula bar. The formula bar is something you can enable in the view tab. Uh, in the formula bar, you see the grouping information is written there. Part of that is table.distinct and underscore is the subtable for each group. You can replace this table that distinct with list and Power Query is uh, case sensitive. List should be capital L. And then you need column name here. Uh, underscore means the table. You can point to the column using a square bracket. Inside the square bracket, type the column name sales order number in this case. So this is saying that from the sales order number of that uh, number column of that table give me the distinct list and then row count of that. This then give you the distinct count. So we changed table.distinct to list.distinct and we added the column after the underscore. Using this, you can easily get the um, distinct count on a group by result and it is working really simple. I have also created, I have also um, 
written another uh, blog about how you can use a group and get the first or the last item of each group which is something you can't really do in the graphical interface of group by the point is that when you know how to write m expressions or even part of the expression you can do whatever you want in transformations on of power query you can download this file from the link down in the description below from my blog post if you like this video go ahead and subscribe into your youtube channel we have weekly videos of power bi and ai